can give a fuck if they dead. Because their death was brought upon by their dumbass decisions. And this Sam Dubose was a dumbass nigga. If you watch the video, he was a typical dumbass nigga. Point blank. Straight up and down. I declare war. War and the Lucas. Bulletproof jet planes, nigga, you can't shoot us. Can't stop my reign to terrorize the power. Tone stars who do king in his crime, that better cower. War. I declare war. This video is in response to Uncle Painless Risen. This video is in response to Uncle Jesse Lee Peterson. These two house Negroes did what house Negroes do best, and that's blaming the victim, attacking black people. They did videos attacking Sam DuBose, and that's the brother in Cincinnati, Ohio, who was killed by the police. And I'm just going to do this video response to these guys. In their videos, they raise a whole bunch of irrelevant points. Painless Risen went on to talk about how Sam DuBose dresses. He went on to talk about how Sam DuBose speaks. He talked about how Sam DuBose didn't have a license plate on the front of his vehicle. He talked about how Sam DuBose did not produce his driver's license. And he talked about how ignorant and how stupid Sam DuBose was. And he basically implied that Sam DuBose was responsible for his own death. He basically tried to justify the killing of Sam DuBose. And this is what I have to say about that. First of all, all of those things that were mentioned have nothing to do with the core issue. The core issue is whether or not that police officer was justified in killing Sam DuBose. Not having a driver's license should not be a capital offense. Not having a driver's license plate on the front of the vehicle should not be a capital offense. The only issue is whether or not that police officer was justified in taking Sam DuBose's life. The outfit that Sam DuBose wore is obviously not a capital offense. How someone dresses should not result in them being killed. The fact that somebody doesn't speak the king's English or the queen's English, or they don't talk the way Mr. Charlie wants them to talk, or the way Uncle Painless wants them to talk, that does not mean that they deserve to die. The only issue is whether or not that officer was justified in taking that brother's life. In order to be justified, that officer had to have a reasonable fear for his safety. In order to be justified, that officer would have to fear that he would be injured or killed by Sam DuBose. Anyone who's watched the video knows that this man did not have a reasonable fear for his safety. At no point in that video did Sam DuBose try to hit that officer with his vehicle. At no point in that video did Sam DuBose try to injure this officer. He did not try to strike the officer. Sam DuBose was unarmed. He simply started up his car and tried to close his door to his vehicle. And he ended up within seconds having his head blown off. So there was no legal justification for this homicide. None whatsoever. And the prosecutor who saw the video described this officer's actions as asinine. 
but yet you have this tap dancing Negro, this tap dancing house Negro, this shoeshine boy attacking this black man, this black victim who had his head blown off. But this is what you expect from house Negroes and sellouts. They love to demonize and attack their own people. Not only does he attack Sam DuBose, Painless Risen basically goes on to stereotype black people. And Jesse Lee Peterson does the same thing. He talks about how these victims of police brutality are not good people. They're not the type of people that you would want over for dinner. They're not the type of people that you would want to marry your daughter and blah, blah, blah. The fact of the matter, again, is those none of those things are even relevant. And none of them are really even true for the most part. He referenced um, Sandra Bland. And, you know, this is Jesse Lee Peterson. I think he would, yes, he refer referenced her in his video. This is an educated woman. This woman was on her way to a new job. So this talk about people not being the kind of people that you would want over for dinner is ridiculous. That woman was an activist who stood up against police brutality. So I don't know what the hell that Uncle Ruckus, Jesse Lee Peterson is talking about. But people like Painless have this mistaken belief that if only we were good little Negroes and we did everything that Mr. Charlie wants us to do, if we spoke the way Mr. Charlie wants us to talk, if we dressed the way Mr. Charlie wants us to dress, then Mr. Charlie would be okay with black people. Mr. Charlie would suddenly and magically stop oppressing black people. The police would stop shooting black people. White people would stop stereotyping black people. The fact of the matter is that our oppression is a systemic problem. We are collectively judged and punished as a people. Collectively judged and punished. So even if you're an educated black man, you know, a well-dressed black man, in the minds of some of these people, you're nothing but a damn nigga. And the way they treat our president is a prime example of that. Here you had this educated black man, went to the best law school in the country, an accomplished author, an intelligent man, an accomplished politician, but yet they attack him, they depict him as a monkey, as a witch doctor. So this notion is somehow you can behave your way out of racism and oppression is absurd. Absurd, completely absurd. The fact of the matter is, contrary to what Painless was talking about in his video, the fact is that African-American people are targeted by these police. It's no coincidence that the majority of police brutality victims are black. That is by design. That is the nature of the system. And the Washington Post did a study, and I'll post a link to that study in the description box to this video. But in that study, they studied um, police officer shootings from 2005 until today. And they found that three-fourths of the officers who were charged for police brutality and police shootings, they said that three-fourths of them were white. And two-thirds of the victims of police shootings were black. And of that two-thirds of police victims, all of them except for two were black. That sounds like targeting to me. And they said that there were black officers who 
were involved in police shootings as well. And those officers, they didn't kill white people. Most of their victims were black. So again, we have a system whereby African American people are targeted by the police. Now I often hear these tap dancing sellouts, these lawn jockeys, these shoe shine boys. They always want to talk about why aren't black people outraged about inner city violence the way they are about police brutality. The fact of the matter is, when it involves black on black violence, often those killers are brought to justice and they are convicted for their crime. But when it comes to police brutality, rarely are police officers charged with crimes. And when they are charged, they often get off. So that's why people are outraged. And this study from the Washington Post notes that out of the thousands of police shootings that happen in this country, only 54 of them actually were charged. Only 54 of those police officers involved in shootings were actually charged. And out of those, the majority were acquitted of charges. 21 of them were acquitted of charges and only 11 were actually convicted. So when you have a system that allows black lives to be taken without any accountability, obviously you're gonna have outrage. And that is why people march against police brutality. That's why those types of cases receive such high attention in the black community. And let's not get it twisted. I mean, black communities protest against inner city violence all the time. So I just wanted to make those points. Again, police brutality is a, a system of oppression. Black people are targeted. It's not about behaving our way out of this oppression. It's about us condemning police brutality, standing up to police brutality, and doing what is necessary to end po police brutality. This guy, Painless Risen, talked about how he's embarrassed by people like Sam DuBose. Well, I'm embarrassed to see tap dancing sellouts like you pretending to represent our community. All just to get views and a pat on the head from Mr. Charlie.